Hello everybody, this is Karma Killed the Cat, and as you can probably tell from the title, this is another announcement video. It's been almost exactly a year since the last one, and we are once again at a major turning point with our series, so uh, I'm going to just talk about how the channel is going in general, and then I'll talk about the future of the Lua series and also the next series I'm going to start. So, uh, as for the channel, I'd just like to apologize. I've been a lot less consistent with videos this year than I was last year. My goal, if you don't know, is to get at least one video out a week, and since I really only have one series going right now, it's pretty much one video a week, that's my goal. But uh, there have been a lot of gaps this year, there was one point when I think there was three or four weeks of nothing at all, no videos. So I'm really sorry about that, I've again just been a lot less consistent than last year. I was pretty good at getting at least one video out a week last year, but this year, like I said, uh, it's been a lot more inconsistent. So for the rest of this year and next year, I'm going to try to get that back on track and be a lot more consistent. So the goal is at least one video a week, and as I may have more than one series going on, uh, there may be more than one video a week. So uh, since it is summer now, uh, I'm off of school, so I should have uh, quite a bit more time to record. Uh, so hopefully I can get things back on track, get things started now, and then once school starts again, I can try to stay on track. So that's the goal, and hopefully I can stick with it. So now, as for the Lua series, so uh, I keep changing my mind about what I'm going to do with the C library. So what I originally thought I was going to do is I was just going to start from scratch, not use the videos from the original Lua series, and uh, just do the entire C library again. But then I realized that there were little or few to no changes in the C API between Lua 5.1 and Lua 5.2. So I thought I was going to just keep the old videos and then move on from there and do the rest of the C library. But then I looked at what was left to do, and I realized that everything left is just so nitpicky and specialized, and really most of it is for either really advanced stuff, or not even really advanced, just really specific things that in most cases you probably won't end up using. So uh, I'm just going to cut the Lua series off here. Um, really, if you go back to the old series and look at the C API videos, or the C library videos, whatever you want to call it, that's pretty much all you'll need to do any kind of normal programming in the C API. If you want to learn about the rest of the stuff that I haven't gone over, uh, you can use the programming in Lua book. It's available for free online with the Lua website. It's called the Lua Reference Manual. Or if you want a hard copy of it, uh, the book is called Programming in Lua. So if you want to know about the rest of the C library, you can read about it there. Uh, the book is a bit complicated. It's not the best with giving examples, but you should be able to figure it out. And again, the only reason I'm not going over it is because it's so specific and specialized for very, very special cases that it's really just not worth doing videos for. So this kind of marks the end of the Lua series. I'm going to finish off the uh, Lua 5.3 videos. I just have, I think, two more functions to go over with the changes between Lua 5.2 and Lua 5.3. So I'll get that out sometime this week, and that will be the end of the main Lua series. So now on to the new series that I'm going to try to start. So I said a while ago that I was going to start a game programming series. And now that the Lua series is done, I'm saying series a lot, uh, this seems like a great time to start it. So, since I've already taught Lua, I can expect you to know Lua, so the library I'm going to use is called Corona. And it's not really a library, it's an uh, API for making iOS, Android, and I think now Windows Phone apps. Uh, since I've last used it, I think they've added that. So I'm going to be using that. Uh, I think we can use ZeroBrain for it if we go to Lua Interpreter. Yep, we have a Corona IDE right here. So, you do, well, we'll need to download Corona, so that'll be a tutorial, but uh, we can write all our code right in ZeroBrain, and we'll have pretty much the same format as last time, but now, instead of just going over the base language of Lua, we'll be learning the Corona API. And that lets you develop iOS, Android, and Windows Phone apps without having to learn Objective-C, Swift, Java, or c -sharp. So that's one series, and the other series is I'm going to try to start the C++ series up again, but instead of just teaching basic C++, 
what I kind of want to do is I want to go over the different the differences between C++ 98 and uh, C++ 11 slash C++ 14. So if you don't know, um, the C standard has been upgraded in first 2011, then 2014, and it includes a bunch of new fe features like type deduction and variables, R value references, and a bunch of stuff like that, or not like that, but a bunch of other stuff. So I think I'm going to start a tutorial on uh, upgrading your programming style to fit with C++14. So uh, that's the other series I'm going to try to start up. It will be more advanced. I'm going to expect you to know basic C++98 at least. So get ready for that. Um, I'll start posting videos for it as soon as I can. So uh, that will be the next series. and. The reason I'm not going to continue the just basic C++ series is because there are so many tutorials already online, there's really no reason for me to make a series. I mean, if you just look up C++ tutorial, you'll find thousands of different ones, so uh, I really can't contribute anything. There are some by much better programmers than me, so I'll leave that to them, but I haven't really seen many tutorials on upgrading from C++ 98 to C++ 11 and 14, so... Uh, I will do a tutorial on that, so look forward to those videos and look forward to the Corona videos after I'm done with the Lua 5.3 series. So I will see you in those videos.